Hello, welcome to planetmosh.com. We're backstage at Bloodstock 2017, where the guys from uh, under the old man are just not long come off the stage. Have you? Yeah, about 15 minutes ago. Yeah. I can feel the sweat on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Can't we all? Yeah. <laughs> Are you pleased with how it went? Yeah, yeah, yeah really yes. pleased. Uh, sound, sounded good on stage and we uh, had a really good turnout as well. So, yeah. Those sort of early morning slots can be a bit... Yeah, we had a few Red Bulls before we went on. <laughs> <laughs> but even, I mean, considering we're on at quarter past 11, and you think most people are going to be getting up, having their breakfast. There was plenty of people out here. Yeah. You can't fault for the people at Bloodstock. Yeah. Well, no, but everyone's been saying really, it's like the new Blood stage is where it's at, as, as we say. Yeah. So you get a lot more people checking it out yeah. year upon year, really. Yeah, so. I think having it right next to the main stage is really cool. It's like between bands, you could hear noise coming out, and everyone's like, oh, that's like pretty good. Like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, having every time I wonder, check stuff out. Yeah. It's also next to the bar, which helps. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the two main things. Yeah. And um, before the set, was it a case of health, healthy nerves, or were you, or was it the opposite end of the spectrum? We just spectrum? got there really early, so we were kind of waiting around. Uh, and just like, the wait, yeah, the waiting was, we weren't very good at that. I don't no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just started pacing up and down, I'm just like, oh, can we just get it over with, please? <laughs> I felt like I was waiting for an execution more than anything else. <laughs> well, so I saw you in the back because I think it was Ward 16 wrong before yes, you were. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You're, I guess you're sort of stood at the back thinking, come on. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Just like healthy impatience, I guess. Yeah. Like, wanted to get done. Like, I think we played with uh, uh, Death Heaven earlier in the year and that was like our biggest show and then this is definitely like the next step up I think for yeah. like I think maybe two or three steps up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For like nerves I guess. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. The thing with Bloodstock I and mean, it's a fantastic springboard, isn't it? Yeah. The exposure oh, yeah. and who gets to see you and and all that. Um, has it been a case of sort of networking as much as you can really over the weekend? Yeah, I, I mean I can't say that we haven't also enjoyed ourselves <laughs> more, some more than others. Of course. <laughs> um, but it, it's such an honour to play such a prestigious festival that really we we have done everything that we can to talk to everybody and to see every band and to do everything. And luckily enough, there's six of us, so we can kind of break up spread and, yourselves out, and spread ourselves out. But at the same time, you know, we've, we've all got lists of bands that we want to go and see um, and trying to book up stuff today and we're all going to see Municipal Waste and <laughs> we don't want to overbook it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's juggling acts. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, that's it going most of the bands really, I mean, it's still fans at heart, aren't you? you know? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's good. I think especially this year as well, like, we've got friends bands that are playing as well. So there's bands like Bar, Battalions, they're just like fantastic bands and we're so happy to see them on stage with us. Yeah. yeah. And how did the Bloodstock gig come out then? Was it Metal to the Masses? Yeah, or? yeah, Metal to the Masses, yeah, uh, over in Scunthorpe. Um, great guy over there, Lizard King Promotions, got us on it, so it was fantastic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, good guy, good, good venue, uh, good band to solve it through. Uh, yeah, fantastic opportunity, and here we are. Mm -hmm. Is it weird being in that competition scenario? Or? Yeah, I mean, most bands will always say they hate doing kind of competition things, but the metal to the masses thing is just, it's just a load of gigs with a load of good bands. Uh, it just gives you an opportunity to do something like this if it all turns out well, which luckily it did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It didn't feel as bad for a battle of bands. No, no. It felt like a, like a gig with a lot of mates, and then at the end there was like the judging and all yeah. that. Yeah. Well, we played like, the rest with some incredible beat. bands throughout as well. We yeah, played yeah. with Mastiff, <laughs> uh, we played with Battalions okay, on yeah. that last one, uh, Master Charger were on the same one. So, I mean, there are tons of bands in there that, that are what I would consider huge for our scene, yeah. and that we are friends with anyway, with a lot of them. Sure. It kind of made it tough to get through on that. It was a bit of a bittersweet to win because yeah. we were all kind of rooting for battalions. Luckily, they got through anyway. So that would have been hard, I think. Yeah. For us, yeah. yeah. And did you practice the, the fake Oscar smile and clap? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, mum. Thank you, dad. <laughs> to be honest, I think it would have been harder to, for them to not go through than it would have been yeah. the other way around. So, it, but it worked out with both here, so yeah. it's great. Yeah. It's all right on that night as well because most half of them were too drunk to realise what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say one of them nearly tombstoned all the way down the staircase. <laughs>
Yeah, it's yeah. There has been a lot of drinking in association with this festival one way or another. Yeah. It goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So what about material? What have we got out? We've got um, or plans for? So we're just um, releasing uh, a kind of short CD, uh, Blackfire single. Uh, it's got a couple of other tracks on there as well. That's coming out on Giza Records on the 25th of August. Uh, and you can head over to their website to pre-order it now and you get some nice t-shirty things. Um, and then later on in the year, uh, we've got some other stuff in the pipeline coming out. And then obviously we've got next year and <laughs> Europe. And yeah, that was I, Well, I mean, it has to be cryptic at the moment because I there's there's snipers from Giza who are constantly on me. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I try not yeah. to say anything. But yes, yeah, critically, we do have a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Yeah. New Year's going to be a big year for us, I think. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. And that's what I was saying with Bloodstock being such a springboard. It's yes. important to, for you guys to keep pushing now, isn't it? And keep yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of things coming up this year, just gig-wise. Just, uh, a, lot of, a lot of good stuff coming up, but we'll keep that momentum going, and then next year is going to be a big year, definitely. Yeah, excellent. And for, for people listening, check you out on social media and all that business, I guess. Yeah, Bandcamp, Facebook. Uh, I run the Instagram, it's appalling. Please follow us. <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> Twitter, I occasionally do as well. Yeah, 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 just all the usual social media outlets. Yeah. If you like memes, <laughs> where you're yeah. yeah, again, just search 100 year old man, we'll pop up. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much for your time, guys, and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.